It's time for another episode of Garrett's Food. Today we're making these delicious buttery Bismarck pancakes with blueberry sauce. So come on, let's get cooking. So this batter is quick and easy to throw together, so let's get started. Here in the bowl of the mixer, we've got our six eggs. Now mix these on low for a minute. The largest egg in recorded history came from Great Britain back in 2010. It was laid by a little hen named Harriet, and that sucker was over nine inches in diameter. They say she squawked so loud when it came out they could hear it in parts of Europe. They even had to design a tiny little donut pillow for her to sit on for the rest of the week. Now add in your salt and the flour and the milk. Just mix on low again. Give it a little scrape down. Now mix it on medium high for a couple minutes till all the lumps are gone. Pancakes of all sorts date back for centuries. They say that in ancient times, people used to make pancakes and put the first three of the batch outside to ward off evil spirits. I don't know about you, but if I were a ghost and I walked by and saw a delicious stack of flapjacks sitting on somebody's porch, I'd probably leave them alone too. And there's that batter all ready to go. I'm going to put a tablespoon of butter into each muffin cup. Butter makes it better. You're going to fill these halfway up with the batter. Got our 16 delicious Dutch babies or Bismarck's or German pancakes or just call them delicious. They're ready to go in the oven. All buttery and battery going in. So now I'm gonna make the delicious lemony blueberry sauce. Just add your blueberries into a small saucepan. To that add your sugar, your lemon juice. Just gonna zest our lemon. And the lemon zest. Give that a little stir. Now bring that mixture to a boil. That's none of those babies squeal. And you just want to reduce your heat to low and simmer for 10 minutes. You know that song by Fats Domino, I Found My Thrill on Blueberry Hill? Well, I've been on Blueberry Hill and I didn't get a thrill. I did get a rash though, and a ticket for indecent exposure. And this is how the blueberries should look after your 10 minutes of simmering. I'm gonna thicken up our sauce now. Here's our cornstarch and water mixture. We're just gonna stir that in. Just bring that to a boil to make sure the cornstarch thickens everything up. Finish it with your tablespoon of butter. Here's how your sauce looks when it's finished. You know, the island nation of Arua was strongly influenced by its Dutch settlers. These little pancakes are very popular there as a result. So why don't you say we all get on a plane and go to Aruba and eat pancakes? Here they are out of the oven. Mmm. Pour on that delicious blueberry sauce. Mmm, blueberry sauce. The first time I ever had this delicious dish was actually in San Francisco with my friend Jen. We were there visiting with her aunt and uncle, and they made a delightful dinner of grilled salmon, broccoli, and jasmine rice, and then brought this delicious Bismarck out covered in fresh berries. It was one of those meals you don't ever forget. And finished with some powdered sugar. Mm. The 
butteriness of the Bismarck mixed with that blueberry sauce. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Well, that does it for this episode of Garrett's Food. I made these delicious baby Bismarck pancakes with a blueberry sauce. I hope you'll try them at home. Please let me know when you do how you like them. Now, these are great with this blueberry sauce. They're also delicious with cheese or bacon or sausage or any sort of breakfast item that you want sprinkled on top. You could even do a vegetarian version with, you know, some sauteed spinach and mushrooms or something like that. Make a nice hollandaise and spread over. That'd also be delicious. They're great to have on hand, and you can pull them out of the fridge, reheat them, and just go for it for a quick breakfast. I hope you'll join me again for the next episode, and please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and like and subscribe on Instagram, and also on my Facebook page, Garrett's Food. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.